Good afternoon, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. It's a wonderful time here again with my beloved Jesus <laughs> reading his uh, love letter to me. I went to buy something this green and uh, purple sinewini tin for savings of the little ones that I am going to bless with. I have a huge size at home in my room and I saw this tiny one so I think this is a good one for the little ones, little boy and a girl. Girl for the purple piggy bank and the boy is a green one and so I bought it and the mother teens is at home <laughs> so that they will be able to save money so it's so good to have some savings for the bright future <laughs> little ones should learn how to save money and I down here for a while a little bit tired but it's rewarding day again while grandparents are sleeping and my father still in the hospital tomorrow going for surgery and surrendering everything to God his operation and father god i just want to praise you lord and to thank you for my siblings we are in this together and thank you lord for the love and unity with my siblings and i hallelujah god you are with us and you never leave us nor forsake us lord if you take care of this little fish <laughs> and turtles swimming around how much more for your children and so as you takes care of this little creation hallelujah thank you father you're so good lord you're so wonderful and thank you father for loving us and taking care of us as well oh god you're so good you're so wonderful, Lord. You're so awesome. Thank you, Father, for your love. You take care of this little pot flower. It's purple. Yay, my favorite. This is a dark purple and that's a light purple teeny weeny flowers. And so as there is a purple there as well, lavender is so nice and reminds me of Father God of your love towards me as well. <laughs> Hallelujah. Father, thank you. It is so nice to just sit down here for a while and enjoy the beauty of your creation. Oh, hallelujah, Father God. We magnify your Lord and we praise your name. Yes, Father God, you are the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. He was the first, oh yes, he was the last, hallelujah, he was the dead, and he came to life, yes, Father, he was the Alpha and the Omega, who live and die, and live forevermore, yes, God, he knows our works, let's be in faithful, yes. He knows our poverty, we should endure. He knows our tribulation, we should not fear. For no servant is greater than his master. Yes, God, hallelujah. Who has an ear? Let him hear. Who has an ear? Let him hear what the spirit says to the churches he who overcome receives eternal life and he who is faithful 
receive the crown of life yes father as we are faithful to you lord we will receive the crown of life the crown of rejoicing the incorruptible crown the crown of glory hallelujah oh we magnify you lord and we glorify you father thank you lord for your love thank you father that you never leave us nor forsake us thank you lord that in you nothing is impossible you can make all things possible jesus hallelujah oh god hallelujah and so father god thank you that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper and every tongue which rises against us in judgment we do condemn father this is our heritage as a servant of the lord and our righteousness is from you O lord of hosts <laughs> thank you lord for this purple flower again deep purple oh god <laughs> i'm so blessed <laughs> hallelujah father god thank you if there are those who have been speaking or praying against us or seeking harm or or evil to us father or or who have rejected us oh god please forgive them having forgiven them lord hallelujah thank you lord god. having forgiven them we bless them in the name of the lord <laughs> thank you lord Oh, we praise you. We glorify you, O oh Father. We magnify you, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus, for your everlasting love. Hallelujah. God, you are so wonderful. Yes, God. You are alive forevermore, Father. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. Jesus is alive alive forevermore alive 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 forevermore jesus is alive forevermore sing hallelujah sing hallelujah our oh, jesus is alive forevermore sing hallelujah sing hallelujah our oh, jesus is alive father god jesus the same spirit that resurrect jesus from the dead is also the same spirit that is within me within us god thank you come mga mahal let's continue on reading god's word in the book of exodus verse 1. chapter 2 hallelujah father lord as we read your word help us to understand give us father the spirit of wisdom and revelation lord in the knowledge of you O father god as we continue to read your word in jesus mighty name the name above all names we pray amen and amen yes precious holy spirit teach us amen hallelujah remembering israel's wanderings Then we turned around and headed back across the wilderness toward the Red Sea because the Lord instructed Moses to go back, return back. As we read yesterday's passages, see the Lord said, But the Lord told me to tell you, do not, do not attack, for I am not with you. If you go ahead on your own, you will be crushed by your enemies. This is what I told you, but you would not listen. Instead, you again rebelled against the Lord's command and arrogantly went into the hill country to fight. But the Amorites who lived there came out against you like a swarm of bees. They chased and battered you all the way from there to Hormah. Then you returned and wept before the Lord, but he refused to listen. So you stayed there at Kadesh for a long time. Now remembering Israel's wanderings. Then we turned around and headed back across the wilderness toward the Red Sea, just as the Lord had instructed me. And we wandered around in the region of Mount Zair for a long time. 
<laughs> then at last the lord said to me you have been wandering around in in this hill country long enough turn to north give these orders to the people you will pass through the country belonging to your relatives and Edomites and descendants of Esau who live in there. The Edomites will feel threatened, so be careful. Do not bother them, for I have given them all the hill country around Mount Zeir as their property, and I will not give you even one square foot of the land. If you need food to eat or water to drink, pay them for it. For the Lord your God has blessed you in everything you have done. He has watched your every step through this great wilderness. wilderness. During these forty years, the Lord your God has been with you, and you have lacked nothing. So, so we passed, we bypassed the territory of our relatives, the descendants of Esau, uh, who lived in Zer. We avoided the road through the Arabah Valley that comes up from Elath and Ezion Giber. Ezion Giber. Then, as we turned north along the desert road through Moab, the Lord warned us, Do not bother the Moabites, the descendants of Lot, or start a war with them. I have given them air as their property, and I will not give you any of their land. A race of giants called the Emites had once lived in the area of Ar. They, they, were, they were as strong and numerous and tall as the Anakites, another race of giants. Both the Emites and the Anakites are also known as the Rephites. Rephites, well, I don't know how to read this. Through the Moabites, Call them Emites. In earlier times, the Herorites had lived in the earth, but they were driven out and displaced by the descendants of Esau, just as Israel drove out the people of Canaan when the Lord gave Israel the land. Moses continued, Then the Lord said to us, Get moving, cross the Zerid Brook. So we crossed the brook. Thirty-eight years passed from the time we first left Kadesh Barnea until we finally crossed the Zerid Brook. By then, all the men old enough to fight in battle had died in the wilderness as if the Lord had vowed would happen. The Lord struck them down until they had they had all been eliminated from the community. When all the men of fighting age had died, the Lord said to me, Today you will cross the border of Moab at Ar and enter the land of the Ammonites, the descendants of Lot. But do not bother them or start a war with them. I have given the land of Ammon to them as their property, and I will not give you any of the land. That area was once considered the land of Rephites, who had lived there through the Ammonites called the Zamzumites. They were also as strong and numerous and tall as the Anakites. But the Lord destroyed them so the Ammonites could occupy their land. And he had done the same to the descendants of Esau, who lived in Zer. For, for he destroyed the Herorites so they could settle there in their place. 
the descendants of Esau live there. So this day, mm -hmm. the descendants of Esau live there to this day. A similar thing happened when the Kafturites from Crete invaded and destroyed the Avites, Avites, I don't know how to read this, who had lived in villages in the area of Gaza. Moses continued, Then the Lord said, Now get moving, cross the Arnon Gorge, cross the Arnon Gorge, look, I will hand over to you Sihon, the Amorite, king of Hishbon, and I will give you his land. Attack him and begin to occupy the land. So beginning, beginning today, I will make people throughout the earth terrified because of you. When they hear reports about you, they will tremble and dread and fear. Mm. Wow. Let's carry on reading. Victory over Sihon and Hishbon. The Lord was telling to Moses that if the people heard about you, when they heard reports about you, they will tremble and dread and fear. Let's carry on reading. Victory of Sihon and Hishbon. Moses continued. The, Moses is telling them about what happened. Their journey, about their journey. Then the, Moses continued. From the wilderness of Kirimoth, I sent ambassadors to King Sihon of Hishbon with this proposal of peace. Let us travel through your land. We will stay on the main road and won't turn off into the fields of either side. Sell us food to eat and water to drink, and we will pay for it. All we want is permission to pass through your land. The descendants of Esau who lived in Seir allowed us to go through their country and so did the Moabites who live in Ar. Let us pass through until we cross the Jordan into the land of the Lord our God is giving us. But King Sihon of Hishbon refused to allow us to pass through because the Lord your God made Sihon stubborn and defiant so he could help you defeat him. As he has now done then the lord said to me look i have begun to hand king sihon and his land over to you begin now to conquer the, and occupy his land king sihon declared war on us and mobilized his forces of jahaz but the lord our god handed him over to us and we crushed him his sons and all his people we conquered all his towns and completely destroyed everyone, men, women, and children. Not a single person was spared. We took all the livestock as plunder for ourselves, along with anything of value from the towns we ransacked. The Lord our God also helped us conquer everywhere on the edge of the Arnon Gorge and the town in the gorge and the whole area as far as Gilead. No, no town had walls too strong for us. No town, no town had walls too strong for us. However, we avoided the land of the Ammonites all along the Jabok River and the towns in the hill country. All the places the Lord our God had commanded us to live alone. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father.
for your wonderful words again today. We learned something that indeed the Lord is always been with Moses along the way and they had obeyed what the Lord have instructed them to do. Father, thank you that they were able to have victory as the Lord have said and uh, have victory over Sihon of Hebrews and so Hishbon, <laughs> Sihon of Hishbon. Father God, we will also conquer any battles we are facing through even right now as my father is going to have the battle of this uh, disease and this uh, he is going for operation due to diabetic he will be able to get through it father and we will be more than a conqueror in christ jesus we will not be afraid as you have said lord to, G uh, to caleb and joshua do not be afraid for the lord he is with you and so lord thank you that's what you always said even when jesus also said it to his disciples do not be afraid <laughs> so lord we are not going to be afraid about anything for in christ we are more than conqueror in christ jesus hallelujah thank you father we praise you lord and we glorify you oh god even today when we went to the doctor to, to, to follow up of grandpa my employer check up hallelujah lord it went very well and so god so grandma also doing very well as he was rested at home father thank you for the angels of the lord surround us oh we praise you lord we command your angels to charge over us that's what you said lord in your word and so Father, thank you. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, O God. Thank you, mga mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Always remember that Jesus loves you. Goodbye, take care, and God bless. Let's read again tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>